Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to this week's Monday Motivation, which I was really deeply inspired by some of the actions I saw just over the weekend, or just before the weekend actually, and in the last couple of weeks, um, and indeed months maybe, from um, the footballer Marcus Rashford. Now, um, I actually saw a quote online that I'm going to read. I'm not sure where Marcus said this, but the quote says, these children matter. These children are the future of this country. They're not just another statistic. And for as long as they don't have a voice, they will have mine. And I read that and was blown away. And I thought you might be blown away too. So this Monday, this morning and this motivation is definitely for you, for your Monday, your morning and your week. And also, a way to um, motivate like Marcus Rashford. So what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, as we go through our very busy lives through our best, very busy weeks, sometimes we could do with a little lift, a little bit of motivation, a little bit of inspiration. And a lot of us are driven to inspire and motivate ourselves. And sometimes it feels like an engine pushing forward, consistently, you know, um, kind of, it almost feels sometimes like we can be forcing ourselves or pushing ourselves to do something. Hey, good morning, Eunice. Thank you for saying hello. So I'm a bit late on, a bit of a lighting issue. Still not quite right, but I'm here. So one of the things that I really love about um, doing these Monday motivations is that so many people tell me that they can take a little something from these messages to help to either kickstart them, restart them, or keep them going as they go through the week. And that is the, the, you know, that's the whole reason that I started doing these, um, you know, five and three quarter years ago, I think it was now. I'm sorry, four and three quarter years ago, nearly five years ago. Hey, morning, Alan, thank you for joining. So, um, yeah, the reason I do it is because I want to motivate people. However, why is, like motivation important. I think it's important regardless of what we do. Now, many of the people that watch my work are business owners. And, you know, at the moment, there's been a lot of more focus on people getting back on their feet. You know, I focus on, of course, putting yourself out there, but also the piece that resonated with what Marcus said was, as long as they don't have a voice, they'll have mine. And this is not just something that he said and put out there. This is something that he did. He used, um, you know, he used his voice to speak for these children so that this half term, which for many of the kids in the UK, they will, um, who might be struggling, who might not be being fed, they are now eating. And I want you to breathe that in. You know, there are all sorts of different ways that this issue could be resolved, and this is one of them. And, you know, politics aside, let's have a look at what one individual has done, you know. This individual has, um, has put himself out there and has enabled people, um, children to be fed, but people to take action. So here's what I want you to do, just for a moment, as you kind of breathe that in and think about this. With the work you do, you will often want people to um, take an action, you know, as a kind of as a response to the work. It could be that you want them to take care of something within their life or business. It could be that you want them to feel peaceful in some way, maybe happiness or joy, maybe to take better care of themselves, maybe to, um, you know, feel confidence to do something. And what he's actually done is, not only has he spoken for a segment of society that might not have been able to or had the knowledge to, you know, speak out there, he's also spoken in a way that has inspired a lot of people to take action. Not just the British public, not just um, the you know, various shop owners up and down the, the country, the small businesses, up and down the country who invariably um, may be struggling or may have struggled through this time too. He's inspired them to take action, to kind of get in on this and provide meals for children who need them. 
there are some big well-known brands um, and I it's interesting because I kind of I hop in and out to um, the media and I'm very I'm very cautious about what I consume otherwise it can be overwhelming but when I, um, I actually picked up this story on Twitter and the momentum um, that it had where he was just trending in like five or six different places to be able to um, encourage people to go along and, and walk alongside you with your message and then for people to add their support is quite huge. And here's the thing, we can all do it. We can all do it. And many people that come to work with me express some form of feeling like they don't have a voice. Um, they don't have a voice. And here's the thing that's really important to know. Your voice doesn't mean that you have to be a celebrity. Having a voice doesn't mean that you even need to have a massive audience. Having a voice really stands for having a clear message having courage, the courage of your convictions, you know, and having the confidence that no matter how hard it gets, that you'll put it out there. So this Monday, think about something that you want to achieve, something maybe you might be working on it right now, or maybe something that you've said to yourself, mm, yeah, one day I would like to, or soon I would like to, or even the one that I'm hearing the most, at the moment next year i would like to and think of think of that thing so for those of you watching you don't need to type it in the box below if you don't want to but have you got that thing all those things that spring to mind if you do give me a thumbs up or a love heart i'd love to and um, take a, a check to see and if you're watching back on the replay and um, you know type in or, or um, give me a thumbs up and a love or a love heart if you don't have anything um, that you are motivated to do, then it could be that you might need some kind of like a sounding board, somebody to sound it and um, sound it out with. Because quite often um, when I'm having these conversations with clients, and I do actually run a program called the, the a private program called the Sounding Board, where people do exactly that. You know, um, the execs particularly they have these decisions to make, they have people to consult. And it's just great to be able to sort of bounce that idea off somebody who isn't involved in the situation um, and who can add a professional um, opinion as well. So, um, oops, just let's have a look. Uh, oh, I've just, I've just seen Ivona says good morning. Somehow that just whizzed past my screen, so good morning. Um, And Sharon, good morning, good morning. So, now you've got that thing, all those things. For those of you that have got those things that you want to do and you want to be motivated to do, um, it might include an element of motivating others or inspiring others, you know. Um, now you've got, if you've got one thing, brilliant. If you've got a few things, I would suggest taking a moment to write them down somewhere so that you can prioritise, well, which thing are you going to do first? Otherwise, that's when you put yourself in overwhelm. So now you've got those, and thank you for the thumbs up and the love hearts to confirm that you've got the thing or the things. Like, ask yourself this question, and this is going to seem a strange question. What could happen um, to take me off track? Now this is important because a lot of the time we do focus on, well, what could we do next and um, how can we do it and all of that kind of stuff. But actually when it comes to motivation, it's not sitting there and having a plan of how. In fact, I'm quite sure that Marcus, Marcus Rashford, when he was, um, you know, when he wanted to help in this particular scenario, in this particular instance, I feel pretty sure that he didn't know how it was gonna happen he just had an idea and his idea was the end goal. Let's, you know, let's stop children. Let's end um, child, child um, hunger, you know. And we've been doing it for years as a nation, you know, watching comic relief and donating money, um, not only to children in need um, and children abroad, but we've been doing that for a long time. And I think um, putting that focus on the fact that it's happening right here in the UK and 
getting people to be able to um, take an action is just immense. It's just immense. So now that you've got your thing in mind, here are a couple of things um, that you would, can do. So you've got your thing written down or your things and you've now picked the first one that's going to really um, move you towards your end goal. But do you know what your end goal is? Have you thought about what that is? Are you, be, are you being very specific towards what that is, you know? If you have a, well, it could be this, it might be that, and it could be that, it will make it a lot harder. So getting clarity on that end goal. What impact do you want to make? You know, what impact do you want to make? So that's the second step. What impact do you want to make? Um, and the, the, the way to think about this, which is why you need to be clear on where you're heading to, isn't, I'm Jenny Kovacs and I want to do this. It's like, I'm Jenny Kovacs and I want to make sure that each and every single person that works with me has a visible voice. I want to make sure that each and every person that works with me has a certain level of confidence for putting themselves out there. And I want to make sure that each and every person that works with me gets to see their vision and starts to you know be able to take their steps towards that vision so that they can be visible so that they can put themselves out there and that fires me up more than me thinking well i'd like to do this and i want to be this or do that does that make sense um, and for me that's that's a strong pull because i'm very others driven more than self you know very very other others driven um, and for you if you're self-driven, then that might look slightly different for you. It will come out differently in how you market yourselves. It will come out differently in how you tell people about your value and your work. And then the next thing to do is to be able to craft the story that tells people about this. And this, those three steps alone, um, which you know are taken from my Visibility Accelerating Programme, are the first like big piece steps, the first three steps to be able to, you know, delve in and, and have people, you know, inspire them into action and to take an action. And that action might be to come and speak to you. That action might be to think differently about their thing, your thing that you can help them with. You know, and for those of you that work corporately, and I, you know, I work with business owners and I also work um, in corporate spaces either delivering corporate um, trainings and talks and things or working with the individuals within corporate. You know, there's one common thread. We all want to be able to articulate our value. We all want to be able to express our value. And for a high percentage of people that I have the privilege to work with, we all want to be able to make a difference, an actual difference in other people's lives. So this Monday, what do you think you could do to be more Marcus? You know, what could you do to be more Marcus? Have you followed his story? If not, I strongly suggest just type into whichever search engine you use um, and have a look at some of the amazing work he's been doing. Now, the final thing that I want to say that, found, that I found this so motivational is quite often when it comes to um, putting ourselves out there. A lot of people will make assumptions. You know, I've seen a lot of things where people said, yeah, but he's a footballer, you know, he's well known, he's a celebrity, so it's easy for him. I have to say, having worked with people who have been well known and people that are not so well known, it's just as hard for any of us. You know, it is just as hard whether you've got an audience of one or an audience of like one billion. It's, it's the same. So, Having a celebrity status might mean that you have more eyes on what you're going to say. You have more eyes on people that will poo-poo your ideas just as much, you know. So I want to just quickly talk about the reasons why we might stop ourselves. Um, the reasons why we might stop ourselves and the excuses we might make. Because this is the single most reason that most of us don't get to do the things we want. We give ourselves what we think are logical reasons and they become excuses that stop us in our tracks. And it's that stopping us in our tracks that actually makes us feel devalued. It's the thing where we inadvertently devalue ourselves. So yes, he's, he's well known and, and you could say celebrity status, but 
regardless of where you are on the celebrity status or not, if you have the courage of your convictions, a clear vision, and a single simple promise of the thing that you want to achieve, you can achieve anything, absolutely anything. The other thing that people will often say is, oh, but you know, they earn money, they can just put the money towards it and solve the problem. And controversially, I'm gonna say, why should they? Why should he take the money that he earns um, to solve a problem that could be solved collectively or in another way? So the flip side of that, and the reason why that reason becomes an excuse is I hear a lot of people that say, yeah, once I earn X amount, I'm gonna do things like this as well. And here's what I've, here's something that I've actually been doing for um, about eight years now. And, and given that I'm self-employed as well, um, the same as, you know, I have the same challenges as many other people who are self-employed out there, but it's how I choose to look at it. And, and here's the thing. I was really inspired, kind of like even more re-inspired by um, what I read on Friday around Marcus. And you're right, Sharon, it's an absolutely, he's an amazing young guy, you know. He tells his story of, of why he's so passionate about this um, and shares that openly, which can't be an easy thing to share. Um, but here's the thing, when um, I, was, that's it, I was talking about um, the money side of things, there are lots of things that you and I can do now, even though we're not celebrities with, you know, thousands and thousands and millions of pounds sitting in our bank account, even though we don't have millions and millions of followers, even though we might not be well known um, in, in any circles. I really, um, you know, I really want to help feed a child. I've already looked into, and this might not be the same for you, but I've already looked into things that I can do and ways that I can help. I can buy an extra bag of crisps and you could buy an extra bag of crisps to, um, you know, to feed somebody. You can, for a lot of the online, for those of you that do a lot of online shopping in the UK, Many of the supermarkets give you the option to add um, some, something onto your food bill. It could be pence. If that's, if that's what you can give, that's fine. If, if what you can't give is your money, then you can lend your support. Maybe you can reshare one of Marcus's posts or you could share something around um, this particular topic. If you don't have that money or the, you know, the social media um, bandwidth, which some people don't, you could find out from your local authorities who were part of the initiative. You could find out from your local small businesses or shops who else is taking part and getting behind this or another campaign that you're passionate about. So I get that it's easy to say, but I can't because. And if you've got a lot of, but I can't, yes, but, this, but, then try having a look at writing them down so that you can see them first off. This is something that I still do on a regular basis. Find out what's getting in my way. You know, many of you will have witnessed over the years how many times I was inspired by people running the London Marathon and in all, I would even do Monday motivations about this until one day I was like, you know what? I wanna stop talking about this. I'm bored of hearing about it, you know? I, yes, I'm not a runner. Yes, I've never run a marathon before. Yes, I didn't even run a 10K race before. And actually, that is my reason to actually do this, to push myself to, to do something that I keep telling myself, oh, but I couldn't do it. Well, what if I could? And on the 4th of October this year, I completed the virtual marathon. Was it difficult to walk up the stairs that evening? Yes, it was, <laughs> but I did it. And you know what, by the Tuesday, I was fine again, fully recovered. So, you know, the thought of doing something often is a lot kind of like harder or worse or seems more difficult than the thought of doing something. So there's one message that I could leave you with this morning and this Monday to motivate your Monday and your week is be more Marcus, be more Marcus Rashford. Look for something that you're passionate about and just take that step to make it happen. Lend your support in whatever way you can, whichever way you can, and make a difference to other people's lives. Because I know, because you're watching this, you want to create an amazing ripple effect. 
you want to um, help people, you want to change their lives. So why not do this in a way that supports those people, the very same people that you want to support? Hopefully that makes sense. If you're willing to share um, the thing that came up to mind publicly and would want to type it in the box below, please do. Um, Monday's my coaching day, so I will be kind of popping in and out and having a read of those. If you want to do that somewhere a little bit more privately, then do go into the Visibility Vibes Tribe Facebook group. It's a free group there and you can share your mission, share your thoughts and your dreams with other really lovely like-minded people who, from whom you'll get just support, pure support, you know, no trolling, no hating or anything else like that. And for those of you who are looking to really boost your visibility, I'll be back here live at 11.45 for about 10 minutes and I'll be sharing another visibility nugget to help you to be seen, to help you to be heard, especially as we approach Christmas and especially as we review our year. Many of us are now looking at what difference we can personally make in putting ourselves out there. So hopefully helpful. Thank you so, so much for watching. And by the way, if you're watching this and saying, what's this system you keep talking about? I do have a free one page. In fact, you get two lovely free one pages um, where you can have a look. It tells you that each step of the system and gives you a little nugget that you can um, start to work on and put yourself out there. So if you'd like to receive that, um, just either put in, you know, just type below um, five steps or send me a message and I will send you the link, pop in your name and email address and you'll get those pieces of information. So lovely to see you, Sharon, Ivona, Alan, Eunice. Thank you so much. And thank you for those of you that hop on and regularly share these and show these Monday Motivations love. Hopefully I'll see you at 11.45. Bring a cuppa, bring your pre-lunch cuppa, bring a friend. Um, and more importantly, please share this message. What Mark has done, has done is absolutely amazing and um, I think he definitely deserves recognition for making these early steps and I also think um, we as a nation can get behind him and let's solve this child you know let's end child poverty here in the UK thank you for watching Sharon I'll get that message that link to you right away thank you for watching enjoy your Monday bye for now